Hi everyone! Hello, Akira! <laughs> so, what I want to do is to try and do my own makeup for once. And <laughs> apparently, the challenge is to do it without a mirror. Let's try this. Okay, let's go. So, what we start off with is a ultra light hydrator, which is your moisturizer. And the moisturizer. I think you put it here, like wherever you're going to use makeup at, like not your eyebrows, right? Right? Not your eyebrows, on your eyelids maybe. <laughs> Stop it! Stop touching my brush! It's like... <laughs> Very important, oh god. But you let your moisturizer dry for a while on where your makeup is. And then, okay, this... This is not bimbotic. This really works. It kind of dries your face, okay? Like faster. Shh. So, after you use your moisturizer, you should actually use a foundation and um, Chanel. So, let's try. So, if you just like dot over, like, you know, where you want to put your makeup at, your foundation helps to like cover your pores a bit. Not cover your pores, but okay, cover the screen. But it should cover like um, your blemishes and everything. So just a bit. But I don't want to clog my pores, so I won't put too much, right? But I can't really see because I don't have a mirror, do I? Okay. So after this, after your moisturizer, you let it dry, go for foundation. Then you go into your eye, eye things. You want to start off with your eyebrow? or your eyeshadow. I feel that you should start off with your eyebrow. However, I don't have a mirror, so I don't know how short or long to draw my eyebrows. <laughs> so, what we are doing now is trying to give myself more eyebrow without looking at me. I think, I think it's going well. Is it going well? I think it's going well. And then we go to the, the other side. The beauty of being ambidextrous is that you can mess up with both hands. No. It's true. <laughs> Don't judge me, cat. Okay, okay, I'm getting it. I think I'm making my eyebrow longer but without looking worried. I don't know why I'm looking like this. Because there is no mirror, I swear. But let's try again. Let's try. Okay. Next off, maybe you should draw your eyeliner first. But I think it's very dangerous to use your eyeliner without a mirror. Let's try it anyway. Oh dear me. <laughs> okay, guys. Never do this alone at home. Always have parental guidance. Okay, I think I did it. Let's try the other eye now. Oh. Okay. Instead of drawing your eye, why not move your face? Like this. Okay. So after we draw the eyeliner with a bit of the cat eye because of him, we will put on eyeshadow. <laughs> so today I'm gonna go for like a, a healthy peach. If you just close your eyelid and you put it over your eyelid, eyeshadow is supposed to shadow your eyes. Because this is the light effect, if you wanna go for a night uh, event, it does something darker. Uh, usually the SQ girls go with blue and green, but if that doesn't match your outfit and you know black is the slimming colour, try to go with black too. Oh. Okay. Okay. And the last part is your mascara that you can put on. So, I don't know why people always do this, but it's part of the drill, I guess. You can just like, stir your mascara. This is another really hard brush. This is, oh my god, this is, good. This is without a mirror. Help me. <laughs> I don't know how I'm going to achieve this without a mirror, but I shall try. 
without it looks it looks like a little penis cactus. You look at it. It's 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 I'm trying. This is really hard. Ah, oh, my brush! <laughs> this is really hard. And the other, the, there's another challenge to this. How can women use mascara without opening their mouths? Do you realize that every woman who uses mascara, all that, right? Whether they have a mirror or not. So since I don't have a mirror, it might, hey, stop it. It might prove to be um, a point that I can use it without opening my mouth. Oh, I'm going to open my mouth. <laughs> okay, I can't see right. There goes the eyebrow pencil. <laughs> Okay, then lastly, um, if you don't want too much makeup, because makeup is expensive, did you know makeup is expensive? So we don't want to waste too much. And what we have here is um, a different lipsticks that you can use. So we have this lipstick, the traditional twist, and what you have is a lip brush. You should actually use a lip liner to outline your lip first to give it definition, but I don't have a lip liner. So what you can do is use your lip brush and get some... The, the cat is just going to destroy everything in here. So. I need a mirror. I'm not one of those girls that can like, see how to use makeup without a mirror. You know, my friends who drive to work, they do their makeup while they're driving their car. So here, I'm trying right now. I'm collecting all my makeup in my crotch right now because of the cat. Hmm. No, that's even bigger. No, no, no. No. Stop it, cat. Then we want to do um, a, a, a blush. So this is the liquid blush. And um, we will just apply a bit to the finger. Right? I think, and um, slowly, <laughs> slowly, oh, from here, and we go up, <laughs> and um, maybe you should spread it more because you don't want to look too healthy. Pink is good, but not too, oh my god, my brush! <laughs> and yeah, this, 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 like this. And then, what we have here, let's just close it so it doesn't get dried out is um, on the other side now. Actually, this is the first time I'm working with a liquid blush. It feels quite nice. It's not so dusty. You don't sneeze after. Okay, so this is the challenge without the mirror. <sighs> Moment of truth. Oh my god, I look like a transvestite. <laughs> <laughs> is that why the cat is angry with me? <laughs> hmm. Okay, so if you have any other makeup tips or if you have tried using makeup without a mirror, do hit me up at the links below, um, leave a comment or subscribe to the video. And with that, I'm going to remove all of this right now. Bye!